Craig Sigel, the mental toughness trainer. So have you heard the story about Corey Stringer? He was a standout football player at his high school, leading his team to the state championship in Ohio. Later, while playing for Ohio State University, he was named Big Ten Freshman of the Year. He was later drafted into the NFL by the Minnesota Viking, Vikings and quickly became a starting offensive tackle. He was married and he had a child and he was picked for the Pro Bowl in the 2000 season. He seemed to have it all. Quote, Stringer was an incredibly valuable player, one of those men who thoroughly knew the game and what was happening at every position, on every snap of the ball, wrote Washington Post writer Michael Wilbon. Sadly, it all ended on July 30th, 2001, when Stringer died suddenly of heat exhaustion from practicing in the hot summer sun at the Vikings training camp. His widow, Kelsey Stringer, has since made it her mission to make sure that athletes from the pros all the way down to Pee Wee League players, that they drink enough water while practicing and working out. We at the Mental Toughness Academy, we also want to honor Stringer and his family and get the word out about how important drinking water is. It can mean life or death. I'll bet you didn't know that a study by the Exercise and Sports Science Department at University of North Carolina, they found that even before Stringer's death in 2001, 19 high school and college players died from heat stroke since 1995. Dehydration and heat stroke are a serious problem in sports that is not often talked about. So you want to make sure your athletes are drinking enough water. Now what a lot of people don't know is that if you're feeling thirsty, you're already dehydrated. You're behind. So it's important to drink before you're feeling thirsty and even if you're not thirsty. Now it's obvious of course when it's hot outside, you're sweating and working hard, you're playing your sport, that you need to drink a lot of water, right? Well, what's not obvious is drinking when it's cold out or when you're indoors like this. You know, far too many athletes, they wait until they're really thirsty and their performance suffers due to a brain fog from dehydration. You see, our bodies are made up of about 60% water and your brain is actually 70% water. Water is also the primary mode of transportation for all nutrients in the body, and it's essential for proper circulation. You need it for competition. But water is what allows your brain to work correctly. If you're not fully hydrated, you lose mental concentration and focus, as well as strength and stamina. And drinking water is one of the easiest things we teach that will help you optimize your brain to achieve your top performance and be mentally tough. You see, many people also make the mistake in thinking that it only applies really to outdoor sports. However, a recent study on indoor sports conducted at a large university concluded 91% of professional basketball, volleyball, tennis, and indoor soccer players are dehydrated when they begin their training sessions. Another little known fact is that the most common cause of daytime fatigue is due to de dehydration, as well as being the cause of many headaches. So you get in the picture here? You've got to keep your body hydrated in order to perform at your highest level and to think your best. The best thing is to keep a bottle of water handy, continue drinking before, during, and after your workout or game. Keep your mental edge by staying hydrated. I'm Craig Sigel, your mental toughness trainer.